हेलो चिल्ड्रन आज हम रिप्रोडक्शन के बारे में पढ़ेंगे रिप्रोडक्शन क्या होता है एज यू वेरी वेल नो दैट इट इज द एबिलिटी और कैपेसिटी ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म टू प्रोड्यूस इट्स ओन काइंड ऑफ स्पीशीज एंड टू कंटिन्यू द रेस सो इन अदर वर्ड्स व्हाट वी कैन से इट इज द प्रोसेस इन विच लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म प्रोड्यूस ऑफ स्प्रिंग ऑफ देयर ओन काइंड एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लाइफ so reproduction is necessary for continuation of species in nature reproduction uh, can be categorized into two categories first is it can be asexual and the second it can be sexual reproduction fine now reproduction is possible for both for plants as well as animals today we are going to know something about the reproduction in plants सबसे पहले हम प्लांट्स के रिप्रोडक्शन की बात करेंगे नाउ इन प्लांट्स ऑल्सो दीज टू मोड्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन आर पॉसिबल द फर्स्ट इज ए सेक्शुअल एंड अनदर इज सेक्शुअल सो द वेरियस मोड्स ऑफ ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट्स आर ए सेक्शुअल मैथड्स में एक्चुअली ए सेक्शुअल मैथड होता क्या फर्स्ट वी शुड नो दिस इट इज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स बाय अ सिंगल पेरेंट without the formation and fusion of gametes so here the gametes are not required neither the formation of gametes nor the fusion so this reproduction is without the gametes it can be uh, may it can occur in many ways so it but it ensures the rapid increase in number occurrence actually asexual reproduction occurs in most of the protozoans and some animals such as sponges and actually it is absent in high animals now the types of asexual reproduction first we'll take first is called as fission what is fission now it is the simplest form of reproduction in which unicellular organism divides into two or many organisms you can say unicellular organism divides to form either two or many organism or sprints so again fission is of two types first one is called as binary fission and the second one is called as multiple fission so in the binary fission what will happen Uh, in this reproduction the nuclear division is followed by appearance of a constriction in the cell membrane which gradually deepens finally in the binary fission two daughter cells are formed and on the other case in the multiple fission many daughter cells are formed so for binary fission the most common example is what it is bacteria one bacterial cell will give rise to two bacteria and in the multiple fission the most common example is blue green algae it multiplies by multiple fission and give rise to many offspring at a time okay binary fission may two daughter cells produce honge and in multiple fission bahut sare daughter cells produce honge the common example for binary fission is bacteria and for uh, multiple fission it's blue green algae now the next type of common type of asexual reproduction is the second is what it is called as budding the budding is what it is the formation of daughter individual from a small projection which is called as bud which arises from the parent body so budding can be in unicellular organisms or it can be in multicellular organisms in the unicellular organism the first example is what yeast suppose this is a yeast cell it consists of this round nucleus here so after some time this yeast cell will give rise to a bud in this form i am drawing a diagram here like this so a small projection will arise from this yeast cell this projection is called as a developing bud and this bud after some time will become like this having a 
individual nucleus and ultimately this will get detached from the parent cell so here it is a developing bud bud is what it is a small projection which arises on the parent body so this is called as bud and this is a budding shown in the yeast cell that is a single cellular organism the next type of asexual reproduction is that is a third method is called as fragmentation now this is again one of the most common method in the fragmentation what happens actually in this reproduction the regeneration capability of the organism to replace their lost part is fragmentation whenever there is a part lost from an organism body that can be regenerated back and that is called as fragmentation in this process an entire new organism can grow from certain pieces of cells of present organism and the common example is spirogyra the filament of spirogyra it is a algae it is a multicellular algae and the filament is like this this is having a spirular structure like this and individual cells so these are the this is the filament of spirogyra if i break this filament from here see then this filament each filament will develop into a new spirogyra and this is the regeneration capacity of the organism which is called as what fragmentation so each part will develop into a new part new fram filament of spirogyra this is filament okay now children this was the third method of asexual reproduction now the next or you can say fourth method is called as spore formation and this method is applicable especially to fungus now what is a spore now it, uh, spore is a microscopic cell which contains a nucleus with a small mass of cytoplasm surrounded by a protective coat and it is a process of reproduction most commonly found in fungi some cocci and bacillus bacteria during this process a round structure which is called as sporangium that develops from the hypha the hypha looks like this it is having a branching like this so this i'm drawing is a hypha that is a long filament of a fungus especially the organism which i'm drawing is rhizopus and here i'm drawing these minute spores this portion is called as round structure is called as sporangium these are the spores and this is called as a hypha fine now what happens in this process a structure called as sporangium this is a sporangium this develops and in this structure nucleus divides several times and each nucleus with a little trace of cytoplasm forms a spore it consists of minute spores the structures present in this sporangium are spores so these spores are then liberated out and develop into a new hypha after some time the wall of the sporangium burst like this here the wall is bursting and due to the bursting of this wall minute spores they are released into the atmosphere and when they found a particular suitable substratum and a particular favorable condition each spore will develop into a new hypha hypha is what it is a filament of a fungus the next important type of asexual reproduction is called as a vegetative propagation the fifth most important method is vegetative propagation this is a process in which vegetative parts of a plants either the root stem or leaves these are called as vegetative parts of a plant 
and these are utilized in this type of propagation and each part will develop into a new plant. These parts in form, they form the food storage organs which enable the plant to survive year after year. And this kind of reproduction is possible because vegetative parts of a plant, they contain meristematic tissues. Meristematic tissues are there which are which keep on dividing and dividing. They divide again and again. So meristematic tissues for present hote hain, vegetative parts may. So they can give rise to a new plant. So this vegetative propagation, it can be done by stem also. It can be done by leaves or it can be done by roots. Or you can say now the common example for vegetative reproduction done by stems or stems jo propagate hote hain, they are mostly potato, ginger and onion and roots, roots jo plants propagate hote hain, the common example for Vegetative propagation from roots are dahlia and sweet potato. Dahlia and sweet potato. Leaves se jo plants propagate hote hain. The most common example is bryophyllum. The second example we can cite is begonia. These plants are vegetatively propagated from leaves. The new plants actually are the exact copies of the parent plant and they are produced from a single parent. This is the significance of vegetative propagation and some of the common methods. The most common methods for vegetative propagation are they are what? They can be done by cutting, they can be done by grafting and they can be done by layering also. Now common example for the plants which are cultivated by vegetative propagation are examples are sugarcane, ginger, apple, rose, grass etc. So these are the common examples of plants which can be vegetatively propagated. Now regarding the features of vegetative propagation, features of vegetative Propagation. First, it is a very rapid process. That is, it is completed with less period of time. It can be brought about by stem or leaf cutting. Can be brought about by stem or leaf cutting. And the offsprings, the most important significance is the offspring produced by this method is exact copy of the parent exact copy of the parent so here I have completed the asexual reproduction in plants